questions on the comments. So we'll teleport the game, I just clicked it. And it teleports us to the game. So Okay, so let's say we want to make a teleport system, and not just a teleport system in-game. A teleport system where someone can teleport from one game to the other game, right? So, like, off, like, completely different game, right? Oh, well, it could be your game, but, you know, okay, sorry for that. Let me just, okay. So, let's say you want to teleport the players to a different game. Now, I'm probably gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is probably gonna ma um, make a series of this. So, first, this is more of a simple tutorial. And then in my part two, maybe if I can make a part two, I'll probably uh, make a tutorial, tutorial on how you can make uh, like a system and similar to in Bed Wars where you can teleport parties into matches. And, you know, you have like four teams and stuff like that. I might because that is a bit complicated. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I'll try. I'll make a more complicated version of this tutorial. But for now, we're going to do a very simple teleport tutorial and it's very easy. So how can you teleport players? So let's say we're going to make a so now This is just that. This is just for tutorial purposes. So let's say, well, before anything, before anything, just for, just to teleport uh, players, we need a teleport service. So we'll do local teleport teleport service. So let's say anything. So TP service, let's call it that. And game get service, teleport service. This is all you need to get uh, to teleport players. This is the main service. And then whenever you want to teleport players, so let's say, let's do a player added event. So game players that player added connect this to a function and then player. So whenever a player is added to the game, this is the player. And then let's say when a player joins, we wait five seconds and the player is teleported to a different game. Now, before anything, we want to get the ID of the game that we want the player to be teleported to. So for example, uh, let's go on my, because right now I'm on my out, out account because uh, my main account got banned for a day for some stupid, stupid, stupid reasons. Uh, like apparently I uploaded a, 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 what's it called again? An audio that supposedly had Profanity, but I didn't have profanity. It was like, oh, okay. So let's make a variable for our game ID. So local game ID equals this. So this is our game. Uh, oh, it's not a game though. No. This is my my own ID. Sorry. So let's say we choose a random claim a ball, for example. This is our game ID. We copy the ID and then we paste it into our variable game ID. All right. So now all we have to do is teleport service and then teleport first the play uh, the place ID. So it's the game ID and then comma the player that you want to teleport so the first parameter is the game that you want the player to be teleported to and the second parameter is the player that you want to teleport which is the player that joined after five seconds and then we teleport um very simple now you can't actually um uh what's it called you can't actually teleport while in studio so make sure you publish your game very important and go on game settings security and now uh allow third party teleports yeah that's that's all you need third party teleports you want to enable that and yeah that's by i should have said that before first thing uh but make sure you have allow third part of party teleports and publish your game so let's just publish our game right now so if you join this game uh not this one this is our teleport tutorial make sure you publish it so you can play it and make sure third party uh third party teleports are enabled so we play this in the in the actual game on studio because so let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so we wait 10 seconds wait 10 seconds uh, and don't mind my avatar is just for trolling purposes. Um, so it should be any second now. It should be teleporting. Okay, as you can see, it lags. So it's gonna it's teleporting us at the moment. And we'll see. Okay, and it teleports us to uh, our game. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So okay. So this is just the very simple part. Now let's say you wanna you wanna make a button where it teleports players. So let's say we have a button right here. And make it green. Blah blah blah. Uh, make it anchored so teleport part uh, I can't even spell it now tele teleport part and then we'll put we don't we want we'll not use this one actually uh, delete this script we don't need this anymore let's put a script here inside this teleport part okay so first let's get we don't need this um uh, well let's just get that our game id and teleport service we still do need these of course now how do we detect when a player touched the part well we can do first of all let's get the part so local part equals script apparent which is the teleport part right here 
And then, actually, should I do a bit more like that? Okay. Okay, so part dot touched. So when it's touched, it's an event, and then it can be fired. And when it's, we can actually connect this, and we can connect to a, a function when it's fired. So we can do connect function, and then in brackets hit. So hit is anything that whatever touched the part when it's touched, if that makes any sense. So let's say a player touches it, hit would be the body parts of the player. Okay, but sometimes it's not always the player that touches it, it could be like the ground. For example, right now it's literally touching the ground. So we don't want this to fire when it touches the ground. Well, even if it does fire, it won't work anyway. So we have to get the player, so local player equals, then maybe we wanna, oops. Uh, so game dot players, and then it's a function from players and it's called get player from character. Get player from character is pretty self-explanatory. It gets the player from the character. How can we get the player's character? Well, we do hit that parent because hit that parent. So if the player touches it, hit that parent should be the player's character because hit is the body part. Hit is the body part of the player and the body part of the player is parented under the character. So it makes sense that character would be or hit that parent would be the character if the player touches it and then we just get the player from the character which should be hit that parent if a player touches it okay so if player then the so meaning if the player did actually in fact touch it because if it wasn't a player that touched it for example if it was the ground that touched it we don't want it to fire of course because that won't make sense then let's make a cooldown for uh local cooldown equal false uh i think there's a way you can do cool so uh, 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 well, it doesn't matter. So, if not cooldown, so if there's no cooldown, then cooldown equal true. And then TP service, we can teleport the player finally. So, get the game ID, and then the player touched it. Okay. Under wait, like one, two seconds. Cooldown equals false. All right. That's pretty much it. So when a player touches it, when or any when anything is touched, whenever when anything touches this part, you want to check if it's a player that touched the part, and we can do that by getting player from character. If it wasn't a player that touched it, this will be nil. So meaning, this uh, if it if condition wouldn't be met, right? And it makes sense. So we check if there's a cooldown. If not, we can teleport the player. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was it was a bit too confusing, but uh, we'll we'll play. Oh, sorry. But um, we actually have to try this in the actual game. So let's actually x x out of this. Okay, and then we're gonna call we can call this like teleport something like let's just make a billboard UI and then do text label. Make a very simple, very simple uh text label. So let's call this. Let's call this. Let's call this. Let's see where is it. Text scale, then text color three, and then source sand ball. Let's do that. Source source sands ball. Let's call this tele teleport to claim a ball game. And let's make this a bit bigger. So let's say this is studs size offset. Let's do two two. Wait, hold on. I don't think this is correct. Oops. So let's make this two. Let's actually make this five on the x-axis scaled, two on the y-axis scaled. Look at that, that's too small. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, five, ten, and then let's make this one, one. The text label. Oops. One zero, one zero. So scaled completely to the same size as the billboard GY. Okay, well, I mean, it's obviously not the best looking, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's publish this game. Let's test this out. Let's test this out. So shut down servers. Okay, and let's test it out. And the last thing you want to do was see if it works on the, the GUI button. So it would work on a client. It should work on the client. This is on the server because the parts are on the server. So should. So if we go on... So teleport to clean a ball game. It's a bit lag right now, so. So we should. We should step on. Okay, now it's teleporting us. Boom. Clean a ball.
Okay, so it works uh, when you click on the button. So let's say, or not click on the button, if you step on the button. So let's say, let's say you want to make a button, like an actual button, like a clickable button, a GUI. So let's say, make a screen GUI, insert, and then a text button, for example. Now this often looks ugly, but I'm going to make this quick. So let's do for size. Okay, let's actually erase everything here on the size. Let's make this, uh, what should we make? So 0 0.10. 0 point, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0. This is too big. I think it is. I think. I think it is. Uh, I mean, got to do what you got to do, man. Okay, let's not make this ugly. So let's put the background transparency to like green. Let's put it to red. Let's put it some eh, orange. Let's make it blue. Text. Let's make it text scaled. White. You know, I like my white. And then teleport to game. Let's also make this a better uh, thing. I think Majinki. Uh, better. Uh, what's, what do you call it? Uh, font. So let's add a UI corner and maybe a UI gradient if you want. Let's make this. Uh, let's make this like a bit darker like this. If you want. Rotate this a bit. Negative 90. Okay, this looks good. Teleport the game and click on it. Okay, so really what we want to do is pretty much use the same exact thing right now. This two. Which one was the one that I did? Okay. I uh, want to get the same thing here. T3 service. Local script. Oops, I didn't didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Uh, local script. So we have the same stuff. We have the T3 service and the game ID. Local button. Local script apparent. Which is the text button. So button. That most button one click that's self-explanatory this event fires when uh the button is clicked once and then we connect this to a function so connect function and then you do actually there's no there's nothing in the parameter and then you want to do we get the player by doing game that players oops game that player the hell i wonder what local player equals game that players that local player so because this is in a local script, you can get the local player. And this is the player that we can actually access from the client because this is a local script, right? Uh, which is a bit different when, for example, if you're scripting the part it is on the server. So we have to actually detect the player that stepped on the part, but whatever, whatever. So this is a player. That's all we know. This is a local player. I think we can actually do TP service. Let's actually add a cooldown too, because we don't want the player. And I don't know if it really does matter. So let's add a uh, cooldown anyways. So if not cooldown, then cooldown equal true. And then we do TP service, teleport, and then game ID player, which is a local player. Then wait to cooldown equals false. Um, cool. I'm probably not the most necessary. Also, you probably don't need that. But like, it is what it is. You got to do what you got. Okay. So let's say we're done. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see if this works. Very simple tutorial, guys. Uh, so I might make a part two. Give me suggestions on what I should make for the part two. Or if you don't want the part two, uh, give me suggestions on what you sh what I should make next. Any other tutorial that's actually good tutorial, you know, like a good tutorial idea. I'll leave those suggestions on the comments. So teleport the game, I just clicked it. And it teleports us to the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more, like and subscribe. That's the most important thing. If you want, you can join our Discord server and leave suggestions on the comment below. What should I make next for a tutorial? And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys. See you guys on the next one.